When Marine Angemon joins the city, she brings with her a pretty powerful tool. The little spider monkey claims that once a day, it can transfer six hours of one partner's life to the other partner. This can be particularly useful for players who have got their Digimon's life cycles out of sync with one another, i.e. they've got a rookie and a mega, a champion omega, or something like that, and they want to correct the mismatch. There is an argument for having your Digimon's life cycle slightly out of sync. The growth spurt bonus can actually be really useful when you're playing catch up with your youngest Digimon. That being said, Marine Angemon is going to be extremely useful to players who have a severe imbalance and are constantly pairing their birthday parties with their funerals. This video will cover how to get the life transfer correct, i.e. from the right Digimon to the other and correcting any disproportions that you might have. In addition, the video will also quickly show you at the end how to get Marine Angemon to join your city if you don't have her already. As with my other videos, timestamps and annotations have been added, so if you want to jump ahead to a particular part of the video, that will hopefully save you guys some time. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, you can call me crazy, but at first, Marine Angemon's perk can seem a little confusing. The game gives a fairly straightforward explanation about what it's going to do for you, but if you've got a slow brain like myself, the chances are you probably had to stop and think about it for a second. Your confusion probably exists due to the ambiguity in what she actually says. For example, do you interpret what Marine Angemon says to mean 1. You take 6 hours from Digimon A's life total, making Digimon A die 6 hours sooner, which would then give 6 hours to Digimon B, making Digimon B die 6 hours later, or 2. Are you taking 6 hours off of Digimon A making them younger, which would mean they would die later, and then you'd then give the six hours to Digimon B, which would technically make them older, i.e. die sooner. I do have an answer as to which one is correct. I'm just showing you why some people might be confused. Again, if you're watching this video, the chances are you're looking for a bit of clarity on the subject. The logic that the game follows is actually the first option, and if you assume this all along, then you can rest easy. But what does this actually mean for you? Which way is the correct way to transfer life if you have a baby Digimon and then an older Digimon? As a general rule, 9 times out of 10 you want to give life from your youngest Digimon to your oldest one. This is going to let your youngest Digimon catch up by aging whilst also giving your oldest more time to survive. The only exception to this rule will be when you have a baby Digimon and a Mega that is close to death. In this instance, assuming that you're trying to keep your Digimon close together in terms of their lives and you don't care about the growth spurt bonus, you can help the old Digimon die by taking life from him and then giving it to the baby. That being said, you normally want to transfer from the youngest Digimon to the oldest. Let's look at a really quick example. Here we have Red Vidramon and Vidramon. Red Vidramon is 4, whilst Vidramon is 6. If we were to let these Digimon live for a few days, it's safe to say that Vidramon will digivolve first, right? Therefore, if we want Red V to catch up, we would want to take from our younger, i.e. Red, and give it to the old, i.e. Blue. Blue is going to age slower as a result, and Red age faster, which would hopefully reduce the gap between them. A quick note is that you should try and avoid using Digimon rank to determine how you're going to life swap. Try to stay focused on the age of the Digimon and continue to go youngest to oldest. In the instance on screen, I have a Mega and an Ultimate. You might be tempted to think, ah, an Ultimate comes before Mega, and therefore we want to take from the Ultimate and give it to the Mega, but that's not always the case. As we know, the Mega is going to naturally live longer due to the Digivolution bonus on lifespan. And then on top of this, my Mega is actually my youngest Digimon, so using the logic from earlier, we are going to take from the Mega and give it to the Ultimate. This is going to give the Ultimate more time to try and get the Digivolution requirements and catch up to Mega. As a mini disclaimer, you do not have to do this if you don't want to play the game this way. This is just how I like to do it, and I imagine that a lot of other players do the same thing. If you guys do anything different, or feel like you have a better strategy, then let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. As always, I'm also looking to learn about the game myself and find out ways that I can improve. Okay, so where can you actually find this little Mugwai if you don't already have her in your city? The first time you meet her will be in the server cemetery part of the server desert. She's going to be down by the water of the oasis towards the back of the map and all you have to do at this point is speak to her. If she doesn't do anything and just continues to sit here, don't worry about it. It just means that you have to go around and do other quests and recruit more Digimon to your city before she'll activate. If you have enough prosperity points, she'll tell you that she's disappearing back to the ocean and then she vanishes. From here you're going to want to navigate to the mod cape part of the map. If you go into mod ship 3.0, through the ship 3.0 cabin, through the captain's cabin, you will eventually end up at the flag mod ship, which is where you're going to find Marine Angemon. 
She's going to unfortunately have you running around the ship that you're already on, finding items that she's lost. There will be a couple of times where you bring her back the quote unquote wrong item, but you've just got to keep trying until you get it right. The item that she's actually looking for is the bent spoon, so once you find this you'll know that you've done it. And that's it guys, hopefully this video has been able to help you understand how Marine Angemon and her life swap works, and also how to recruit her if you haven't already got her in your city. Thank you so much for watching, I have been Jack aka Mr Wolfie aka whatever the hell you want to call me, I hope you guys have an awesome day, peace.